Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's subject is going to be a really good one, share. And we all agree that share is so extraordinary and we're all very fond of share. And I thought you might like to know and see different segments of the sessions that we did with share over a period of maybe 10 years. And so, uh, I think it's real exciting at beginning, especially with Sonny and Cher. They had a, a TV show. Some of you may be too young to remember, but anyway, it was a very popular TV show. And so this is one of the first shots I did of Sonny and Cher. You know, I get calls to do celebrity photo sessions from, from various people, and the word of mouth is usually what it is. So. I had a lot of other clients, Diane Ross and Dionne Warhol. I had a lot of music clients. And so lo and behold, <laughs> the day came when we got a call from Cher's manager and uh, he said he'd like to book a session with Cher. And so we were all quite taken back. I was very impressed. And so <clears throat> we got our studio all together. I had a studio at that time on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles and uh, a lot of you know where that was and uh, we did a lot of very spectacular photo sessions there. The studio was 4,000 square feet by the way, it's a huge studio and I had four or five assistants that helped me build these sets. And so okay, so the day came, the knock on the door and in walks Sonny and Cher together, okay. so. They didn't tell me what they wanted to do. They just said, we're here for a photo session. And I had to use my intuition what that meant, <laughs> okay? And so uh, we did that, that session, that um, shot. But after that, Sonny left and Cher started bringing out these wonderful costumes that were designed by Bob Mackey. And so they were all the way from pirates outfits to, you know, romantic blouses as you see over here and so this is what we were doing originally with Cher. We we're doing really soft, real pretty pictures that had a romantic tone to them and you know who knew what Cher at this time was going to do if she was going to end up being rock and roll you know so uh, so this is another black and white shot uh, Cher photographed quite well in black and white, by the way, and uh, it's interesting, not everybody does. And so what we did was uh, we shot quite a few rolls of black and white. We also photographed color as well. But I'm from a school, <coughs> a school in photography, of black and white. And so I prided myself on how good my black and white pictures were. And so color, we shoot maybe half the shoots with color, half of them would be black and white. Because we never knew when um, the reproduction uh, purposes, the black and white shots have a lot of impact. And so this is another black and white and shares Bob Mackey Pirates outfit. So then um, we switched cameras. I had two cameras going usually and we had a, <laughs> a black and white camera on one side and a the color camera they had me on the other side. This is the same shot, shot though in color. So today now we're real color oriented. We're all digital. Those, this, all these shots were done on film by the way. This is back in the 70s when digital was not even a concept on anybody's mind. And so can you believe it? There was no digital at this point. It was all film. It was very tedious shooting with film. It was very slow going, but uh, we did it somehow. And so here's another shot from that segment. But Cher, Cher used to be do these real romantic kind of moods, real pretty, soft, and gee whiz, and you know, kind of sexy stuff in her Bob Mackey gowns. So we usually have music playing in the background, she shares music. And so there's another girl next door with Cher. <laughs> I 
a lot of you don't but couldn't believe this, but it's a pretty smile shot, one of the few smiles we got on share. And it was like, you know, just gee whiz, you know, it's street clothes and all that. And then we would shifted on, maybe this is incorporating two or three shoots with Cher. Um, and this is another really hot one and with Cher. Her figure was just a spectacular figure and so enviable. Her hair was gorgeous. And so we also did some shots that had kind of like a, Egyptian kind of a concept, like a little bit like Cleopatra with Cher, and her, her hair lend itself to doing that kind of a look. Here's another one that's full out Egyptian mysticism with Cher holding all sorts of gadgets, you know, that they used to see with uh, Isis in the pyramids, uh, Queen Isis, and by the way, Cher is production company name was Isis, so she was really into that. And so I thought we captured that really well. And again, Cher now was not smiling at this point. Now it became a little bit more serious, Cher. And so now after uh, Cher left Sonny Bono, she married Greg Allman. Now, see, it was sort of a secret at first, but then this is a shot we did with Cher and Greg. It's kind of different, you know, a little different look on Cher. And of course, Greg Allman, you know, totally rock and roll, country rock and all that. And so Cher changed her life around a great deal at this point. And so she became a little bit more rock oriented. But besides that, she also had children, some of the kids, here in this picture, one of them was uh, Sonny's child, and the other one was Greg Allman's child. And so uh, this was a cover, I think, of Newsweek magazine. Used to, Newsweek went up here. And Cher was really on a roll at this point in her life where it, she was really in the news a great deal. And so she still is, but at that point, because of the TV show and all that. She was just out there in the public a lot. Here's another charming sh children's shot with her with Elijah Blue and Chastity, both of whom have gone through different changes in their lives. And uh, quite, you'll have to, uh, YouTube, you'll have to uh, Google what both Chastity and Elijah Blue are doing now so I don't have the time to get into that. But so anyway, so that's a different portion of Cher's life that we captured. And so at this point, now let's switch over to when Cher went with a record company. By the way, uh, Gene Simmons, a, a gentleman who was in, with a group called KISS, was quite influential on, with Cher. And this is a point in, in society where a lot of women felt like that they were, they were bound, you know, and, and captured and not able to be free to do whatever they wanted. Their wages were low and the men were, you know, you know, with this, with women. And there was like a liberation period for women. So this is quite a statement that Cher made that she was now in bondage here with the chain. And Bob Mackey designed the chair, chain, by the way. And uh, it was, uh, this, this record album title was called Prisoner. Okay, so now um, women sometimes felt like they're prisoners, but darn it, uh, they, they kind of got a hope of that. And so Cher also, this was a full length of this whole set, which was we decided, the art director, Chris Worth with Casablanca and I said, let's do a Frank Frazetta theme. That was an artist that used to do this apocalyptic settings, you know, with those falling empires and falling columns and goddesses and bondage, you know, okay, the whole thing. And so sure, did. We, I thought we captured this pretty well. This, I have a big enlargement that was made, by the way, back here from um, uh, the same shooting session. 
that Bob Mackey and I thought we'd digress after we did the bondage picture, and we turn it around, and let's say women are going to go through a metamorphosis. Cher was going to go through, that's a big word, right? Metamorphosis. And what is going to happen, there's going to be a day when women are going to be free, you know, <laughs> like butterflies. And so Bob designed this butterfly costume. There's hardly anything to it. It's uh, gossamer wings, um, you know, naked, share. And so it was a, a shoot. This was part of the prisoner photo session, by the way, we did. And it was, Cher was not real thrilled about this costume because there wasn't any costume. She was naked. So on the set, we had to build curtains around so no intruders could come in. And it was a book. Shooting was done on a sound stage in Hollywood. Sound stages are huge caverns. So there could be people lurking in the wings that would want to see Cher naked. But she came out in a robe and knelt down, and she just squatted down there in this costume for at the most five minutes, which isn't very long to do a segment of a shooting. So I had my camera ready, and Bob and I were all stoked because this finally, this kind of uh, justified <laughs> why we did the session going from prisoner to uh, a butterfly. And so this is one of my favorite pictures, by the way, hence I had a big enlargement made. And what we did was Cher was not real happy with this. Cher thought it wasn't uh, edgy, metallic sound, rock. it wasn't rock and roll, let's put it that way. It's all pretty stuff. And so romantic, and she was not into, I think, romantic, pretty stuff, okay. So, but Bob and I felt really good that we got our shot, and so I made a big enlargement, by the way, of the shot, sent it to Cher's uh, home, and I thought we'd get a call immediately and say, wow, this shot is really good. No, we didn't hear back from Cher for maybe a year. We finally got a call, and uh, she ordered one picture, one eight by 10 of this, and so it's still become one of my favorites, kind of like a fine art shot. And so, anyway, that, that was another interesting portion of the sessions that we did on Cher. And so I'm gonna continue on to another episode in Cher's life ongoing um, uh, extreme edgy stuff. Uh, Cher just was called by Holiday Health Spa to be a spokeswoman or, a, you know, an image for holiday health. So we did a lot of pictures of her with her, her aerobics outfits and lifting weights and at the pumping iron and doing all that. It's a subject. I will take a whole other photo, the whole other YouTube thing to, to go into. But anyway, so this is one sample of it. Cher again looking way fit. And so she, uh, she was a wonderful example of what one could do if they went to a holiday health club. <laughs> and so this is just another shot. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to another segment of, and another episode in Cher's career where she now started really getting into music and the music industry. Uh, she had now a record behind her. This is now in the early 80s. And so we never knew what Cher was going to bring in with her when we did a photo session. So we thought we'd do, this is like a period when the 80s, the whole disco thing was coming out. And so uh, this is kind of an edgy shot with Cher looking um, quite intriguing looking. And so and this is another one of her, you know, we use a lot of weird lights and stuff. It was all psychedelic stuff, you know, and this, this could be looked at either there or it could be looked at this way. And so Cheryl was just wonderful to work with. Didn't have to tell her what to do. She just 
did it. She just became Cher. And so gradually Cher went on and, and graduated a little bit more into black leather. And uh, Bob Mackey, I'm sure, helped her with this jacket and everything. So black leather was a kind of a different point of view on Cher going from over here to romantic, uh, filmy blouses over to the kind of hard edge stuff. And her music was that too. And so this is just a, a beginning of the shots we used to do with Cher that were kind of black, black leather, uh, rock and roll, hard rock kind of stuff. So she thought she put on a blonde wig for this one. So this is you know, Cher as a blonde. So lately in uh, her life, she's worn uh, blonde wigs. And so, but this is one, just one uh, with her black leather on. This is another nice shot. I thought it's, again, Bob Mackey designed this kind of a, a sort of a semi-bondage black leather on Cher. So it, pretty spectacular. Not very women could pull this off, but Cher did. And this one's pretty sexy. A lot of her outfits that she wore for photo shoots were uh, pretty filmy, you know, rather transparent. And Cher, with her confidence, she could do this and not blink an eye, so to speak. We were blinking our eyes behind the camera, though. <laughs> so this is really a beautiful shot of Cher. And so this is when, like, bringing us up a little bit more into just the final stages of her black leather. She's got motorcycle boots on, and she's uh, cut her hair down rather short. And so after this segment, um, portion of Cher's career, we uh, saw her for a few other sessions, but I thought I would give you just this one insight into a period of time, maybe over a span of 10 years. And so I did the best I could to give you a cross section and not get too wordy and take too much time. And so I hope that this was uh, entertaining for you. And I'm glad you tuned into my YouTube channel. And make sure if you comment, you could do a thumbs up deal. <laughs> and I'll try to write my comment under your comment. Okay, have a wonderful day, you guys. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next segment. Bye.